Made myself some oatmeal for breakfast. It was cinnamony, cinnamon oatmeal. <laughs> Tasted delicious. And I spoiled myself this morning. I usually make coffee in the truck. Spoiled myself with a bean to cup, I'm being honest. Okay? Just one this week, okay? It can only be one. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. I actually like the coffee I make in the truck better. But this is still good. Okay. Onward, are you guys ready to rock? Diesel, you ready to rock? You gonna hang out back there? I like looking out this window, man. And your bed is very soft. I get it, it's a new mattress under there. Best mattress I have ever slept on in a truck. I would say it's just as good as the mattress we have at home. And I think we have, I think it's called Stearns and Foster. It was an expensive mattress that we had at home. And this one they make, I'll tell you more about it in the future, but they make these mattresses. It comes from Odyssey Truck Mattress and they, they make it like a mattress for your home, right? But they, they make it for your truck. Seriously, I've been getting such good sleeps on there. I can't wait to do a full review for you guys in about a week or so. Uh, I think you're going to be really excited. Those of you who uh, struggle with bad mattresses in your trucks, I think you're going to want to hear about that. So stay tuned to my videos. Uh, it'll be a special video just for that. It'll be, I'll label it like uh, Odyssey Truck Mattress or something. You'll know what it's all about. Thumbnail will make it pretty simple. Okay, here we go. Turn our mirror heat on just in case. The weather is much better today. We stayed here in Saskatoon. because there was a snowstorm last night. I'm just looking at my tires on the trailer right now. They are all released and turning. Okay, I'm gonna do a little tug test here. Make sure they engage and release again. And make sure my fifth wheel has my uh, kingpin locked in there so my trailer's not gonna fall off. Wonderful, wonderful. Winter has arrived here. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in Western Canada. From what I hear, the same snowstorm that hit here last night is now bearing down on home in Southern Manitoba. It's supposed to start snowing there in a couple of hours. And this is probably what I'm gonna go home to. But the weather is moving that way. It's coming from the West going East, which is pretty typical for this area. Truck is doing well. Just had my trailer ABS light click on me here. I'm gonna pull off to the side here and go mess around with that cord. You see that right there? I'm gonna go and uh, see if I can fix that real quick. Pull in behind these guys here so I'm out of the way. quick right here okay usually when that light pops on it's nothing it's just a loose connection somewhere uh, the first thing you can do is uh, go and check your cord or unplug your cord from your trailer and plug it back in I always blow into it just a little bit just for good luck it doesn't do anything but I got into that habit because uh, of Nintendo back in the day you used to take the game out and blow in it and then put it back in and it would work it's like my little good luck charm it seems to work most often for me hold on diesel i'll be right back so it's this one right here eh? It's this guy pull it out and i just give it a little just for good luck I'll wait about 10 seconds don't put it right back in right away wait about 10 seconds and it did. Look around there, look around here. Okay, let's plug it back in. Let's see. It's still on. Okay. Now we gotta blow in this one. That's just for good luck. I'm just gonna leave it uh, unplugged for a good 30 seconds now. And then we'll, uh, should have put your sweater on, man. It's cold out there. You see, it's winter time. I know, man. I'm a tough Canadian. I don't need my jacket. Sometimes the problem just sort of fixes itself. It's a winter problem. Sometimes the sensors get a little cold. All right. Come on, bud. Work 
for me, would you? Work for me. Okay, I'm gonna have to go fiddle around with it a little bit more. I was hoping it would be simple like that. But it is what it is, I guess, eh? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Started rolling forward and it went off. Beautiful. You see? Trucker Josh, Mr. Fix-It. No idea what I did. I unplugged the cord and I plugged it back in. It's fixed. That's the first thing you do whenever something electronic breaks, right? You make sure it's plugged in and if it's plugged in, you unplug it. You wait about 10 to 30 seconds and then you plug it back in. Nine out of 10 times, your problems will be solved. So we have a load of tractor tires inside this van trailer. I did a recovery job. Uh, the truck that was pulling this to Edmonton broke down. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, that's why I have a van trailer behind me. Broke down and I had to come recover this load and get it to Edmonton for Monday. So we have about five and a half hours of driving if the roads are good for today. I was gonna do it yesterday, but the snowstorm forced us to stay here in Saskatoon. Let's see what these highways are like. They would have been salted by now. It'll probably be clear sailing. It'll just be very messy. Old blue is gonna get dirty. Oh yeah, clear sailing. This is this is good. And we got a lot of weight in the trailer. These tires are, uh, oh, not a lot. The bills say these tires are about 22,000 pounds. The tires and rims, I think, on pallets. Like big, big tractor tires. But I can definitely feel that I got a good amount of weight back there. Oh, we're still spinning a little bit though. Okay, so we're gonna take her easy. It is still slippery. Not too bad though. Oh yeah, see there, now we're not slipping around anymore. Must have just been one slippery section. We're still gonna take it easy. The goal of every day is to arrive alive. We got all day to get to Edmonton, so it's not like we're in a big rush. We can take our time today. Even if I was, my life is more valuable than any freight you can put in my trailer. But I will do my absolute best to get the freight where it needs to go on time. I don't use that as an excuse. I can't use bad weather as an excuse. Like, oh, it's, can't go, it's too dangerous. We got half an inch of snow. No, I'm sorry, this is Canada. When it snows, we gotta keep rolling. But we do have to set a line for ourselves. We're like, like last night, that snowstorm, 80 kilometer an hour, 50 mile an hour gusts. I'm sorry, no. I'm not driving in zero visibility. That's, uh, that's where my line is. So I figured I'd go during the day today, then at least I have the daylight to help me, right? That was at night too. That was another reason I shut down. I was like, so we got a whole bunch of loose snow on the ground. We have 50 mile an hour gusts of wind and it's dark. Middle of the night and if something happens, it's going to be probably <laughs> half a day to get help out there. You know, if you get stuck and you need to get pulled out or the worst, even worse stuff happens. Nope. Daylight is our friend. Right, Diesel? I really like the sun, man. He's a really cool guy, man. He lights up the day, you know? Every day. Lloydminster, Alberta. You can already tell we're in Alberta because gas is like half the price here, it seems. <laughs> Not exactly, but uh, gasoline here in Alberta, Lloydminster on, uh, what is today? November 6th, 2022, $1.50 per liter. Still way too high, but lower than, uh, Manitoba. Diesel fuel looks like it's selling for two bucks a liter. In Manitoba, it was selling for $2.19 a liter. 
Saskatchewan was $2.13 a liter. Alberta always has the cheapest fuel. I'd really like to get around this guy. He is unpleasantly slow, like excessively slow. So I'm gonna go around him. Maybe it's not him, maybe it's someone in front of him. Someone needs to get that Canada flight fixed. That's not okay. No, there's nobody in front of him. All the way through Lloydminster already. Dude, you've been crawling through here at 25 kilometers an hour. Why? Messing up traffic. I know we wanna go a little slower than usual maybe now, but that's a little excessive. Weather's gotten a lot better. The roads aren't slippery, uh, it's snow covered. A little bit here you can see, you gotta keep your, t your tires in the tracks here, but as long as you stay in the tracks. That guy, uh, that was a little close, bud. No, a little close, he didn't have to come in there, but that was okay. Yeah, we got good traction here. Roads are obviously aren't 100%, but good enough for me. temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius so we're probably looking at uh, like low 20s in Fahrenheit gets dirty pretty quickly in this season Nothing diesel out here but all he wants to do is sniff hey diesel you pulled me over you told me to stop because you had to go to the bathroom I just wanted to sniff the grass, man. The grass looks really, really cold here. It's under the snow. All right, well, do your thing, man. I'm not stopping again until we get there. Got this big parachute behind me. Grabbing all the wind it can. We're at the uh, way station. Alberta Way Scale, past uh, Lloydminster. You saw us go through Lloydminster there. We're about a uh, half hour, 45 minutes into Alberta. Somebody wanted to stop and sniff the grass. Ah, I'm gonna get out of the wind. I'm cold. Aren't you cold, Diesel? Come on, hurry up, man.
found myself a nice lonely spot in the back along the side here. My favorite spot. No neighbors. Yes. It's gonna be minus 15 tonight. Woo! It's gonna be cold. It's the coldest night this season so far for me. I'm gonna be able to test out my engine heater in the morning. I've got the truck running right now because I'm gonna be uh, I'm making some food here and I'm gonna be working on the computer for a little bit and then we're shutting everything down and uh, getting ready for the morning. I had a pleasant surprise when I got here. I was talking to Britt and she told me, oh, it's daylight savings time today. I'm like, what? All my clocks automatically change, right? I was in Saskatchewan this morning. Saskatchewan doesn't do daylight savings time because they're smart. So I didn't notice it. I woke up right when I had my alarm went off, nothing had changed. Then when I hit the Alberta border, the time changed. So for half the year, during this time of year, Saskatchewan falls back towards Manitoba because they see we're few in numbers and we need friends to keep us warm in the wintertime. So Saskatchewan's nice. They come and keep us warm in the wintertime, but in springtime, they spring away from us to go party with Alberta for the summer. That's how the time zones work, because Manitoba's central time, Alberta's mountain time, Saskatchewan is Saskatchewan time. It never changes. Half the year is central, half the time is mountain. So I hit the Alberta border. I didn't even look at my clocks until she mentioned it when I got here already. It's like only six o'clock. I mean, it's dark outside. I thought it was later. It's only six o'clock. So I got an extra hour of sleep tonight or an extra hour in my day today anyways, if I go to bed earlier. But knowing me, I'm just gonna end up on TikTok or YouTube for an extra hour today anyways and not benefit from it at all. But it's better than in spring when we spring forward and lose an hour. So yeah, six o'clock now. I have to unload, I'm in, I'm in Atchison, Alberta, on the west side of Edmonton right now. I gotta deliver just down the street, like literally just that little, that road there where those lights are, right down the road there. Uh, tomorrow morning, between seven and 10 a.m. So I'm gonna be there at 7 a.m. Try to get unloaded as fast as possible so that I can get reloaded tomorrow and on the road back home. I don't have a reload yet, but that's tomorrow's worry. That's a worry for, for Monday, it's Sunday right now. And it was a pretty meh day. I did not get very good fuel economy today. I fueled up in Saskatoon yesterday, fueled up here again, because at this time of year, I always fuel up at the end of every day if I can, because I want to go to bed with full tanks of fuel, especially if I'm shutting the truck down and it's gonna be minus 15. So full tanks of fuel at night, uh, so I could figure out how much my fuel economy was today, right? I, I hardly idled it at all in Saskatoon, so none of that was idling time, but I was fighting the wind with a big parachute of a trailer behind me all the way here. I got just over four miles a gallon. From Saskatoon to Edmonton here was about 550 kilometers or 320 miles or so. And it cost me, how much did it cost me? Over $600. $601.73 Canadian. Just to drive 516 kilometers or 320 miles. Now for my American friends, 601 CAD to USD. 601 Canadian dollars equals 443 United States dollars and 86 cents. So 443 US dollars to get me down the, down the road. So I did terrible fuel economy today, terrible. But that's because my truck is not designed as a van truck, it's a deck truck. It's very low. The wind goes right over my cab here and it just wham, hits the trailer behind me. That's why I say it's like a big parachute behind me holding me back. If I'm going with the wind, it helps, right? But I was going against it. Of course I'm going against it. Even a side wind. It comes in on the side of my truck here and it hooks into the trailer behind me and it drags me down, right? So I get much, 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 much better fuel economy with a flatbed behind me or a step deck. The trailer that this truck is meant to pull. But I'm doing a favor for them and I'm uh, recovering this load, getting it delivered. Because uh, like I said, multiple times there's a truck that broke down that was delivering it. And this way, the customer is unaffected. They get their freight on time anyways. I came in and got her done. Uh, and then they just gotta get me back home. Diesel, how's your day today? You're very cold and chilly, man. It's getting chilly out there. It is, isn't it? It's definitely. But anyways, I gotta get this put together and uh, my supper should be hot by now. I'm gonna eat some food and go to bed. So we'll see you right here in Atchison, Alberta tomorrow morning. See you later.